McAllen, 25-year-old McAllen right here, baby. Come on. You don't need to lie to make friends. I know that's a 15 or a 12. (laughs) (laughs) You know, Tito Francona was the same way. I remember, like, he'd come ask me if I – he'd be like, Pat, are you okay? Like, I'd get – I just just gave it up. He's got to pull me out of the game, you know. And he'd say, Pat, you – you okay? Do you need? Do we need to get a team psychiatrist? Because everybody's getting psychiatrists now. Do we need one of those? <laughs> Pab, where are you living these days? Mississippi, Hattiesburg, the city, oh. like right. South Mississippi, about an hour thirty minutes from New Orleans. How far are you from Starkville? Two hours. Yeah. How far are you from Brian Reed's house? B. Reed? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think he's <laughs> Alabama. I just, I just. AJ, what about that name. you? Where are you at? Orlando, but my my uh, daughter, my daughter is going to Mississippi State next year. Is she? Yeah. All right. Well, then we need to get together. Yeah. When Florida plays there next year, we got to have to go. Well, no, I, we need to. I need to make sure she gets connected with all my people in case you know we get in trouble or we need anything or you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Pap! I have one memory of you and one. Me- well, two memories of you, but only one, two. Well, Can I one guess was- one of them? Sure. Right before the All Star break, no. we played nineteen fucking. Yes, innings. you I son of a bitch! You gave up. Two. Yes, you gave up a home run to Jermaine Dye. We played nineteen innings. You know, you know how much hell I caught for that. Oh yeah, I'm sure. You know how much hell we gave Jermaine over that. Oh, dude, I, all I remember is the flight there with Bobby, and Bobby literally like titty flicked me the whole time, and just we got drunk, and you know, Bobby when he gets drunk, it's all hell. But man, it was the worst flight ever for me. Pitching in Mile High, it really did. It, it was uh, different. Was it different for y'all? It's a great place to hit. Yeah. But man, I tell you what, after that, I couldn't I couldn't breathe, man. You get hungry. You deathly hung over. It was a bad deal. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get I, sore? I, I, well, we're on a well, yes, the soreness, all that. I don't know if I acclimated well. I never felt like I did, but it's cause you didn't hydrate. You were dehydrated. No, yeah, I wasn't hot. Well, I remember coming home on the plane and um uh, David's son, uh, D'Angelo, was like, what's wrong? I was vomiting on the plane the whole way home. And I told him I had altitude sickness, so. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we have, we have Poppy coming on tomorrow morning. Um, wh- what should we ask him to embarrass him? Um, nothing. Just I just tell him how much I appreciate being a teammate of his and, you know, every – Basically, every plane flight that I landed, his money was in my pocket, and I went out <laughs> for free for like seven, eight seasons with him for free every every time I landed. <laughs> was he just a bad gambler, or was or were you just that good? No, no, no. Terrible gambler. Okay, let me explain to y'all. If you've never played poker, you have an ace-king versus an ace-queen. A pair of aces show up on the board. Right, you got ace king, you win. The the queen is the kicker, right? That's bullshit, man. We got we got pair of aces. We got the same. No, nah, dude, I got a king and you got a queen. <laughs> <laughs> so you got yeah. trip aces and with king high, and he's like, Correct. "Yo, same hand," but no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing oh. first base the inning before Pavel Bond choked out Bryce Harper. So that's that's the year that I was there. And look, let me just tell you some shit on that, man. I got my ass kicked ten times worse than ever that. That was not a big deal, dude. That was a conversation that I was had, and we all were in agreement, and it didn't happen. All right, let's show this. <laughs> By the way, right there, you see Ian Desmond come in, and he Ian Desmond came to me after the game, and he was like, "Man, I don't know what I was doing. You know, I, I should just let y'all do your thing." I was like, "Yeah, you should have." But anyway, <laughs> that was not that big of a deal, man. There, there have been games when I was a rookie, and I was the same young cocky sob too. 
And Ver whether it was Shill, Veritech, Tim, whoever it was, I was way worse than that. So that, that was just because that was on camera. That was that was the whole issue there. So after this incident, I'm like, you know, what what the fuck? Because we had a players only meeting like two days before discussing how we were gonna go about our business. Anyway, long story short, uh like a day later, this shit happens, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" I, we just talked about this, you know, blah blah blah. We get into it, and then after the game's over, I literally am like, "Okay, we need a we need a team meeting because the first player meet didn't work. So let's all get together. Let's bring the owners, the G, everybody here. Call them. Let's go. We get a meeting together." I say, hey, look, uh, you know, I apologize. I shouldn't have let that unfold in the dugout in front of everybody. You know, look, let's just go about our business, blah, blah, blah. And if anybody else has anything to say, say it now, you know. Nobody else said a word except about 30 seconds later, Matt Williams steps in. He's like, yeah, you know, guys, we can't be fighting with each other. We got to win some games here and uh, let's go get them, okay? <laughs> and I was like, are you serious? Are you like, that is all you got to say? I don't know, man. But I, he was he was on the way out. I think he knew it. Yeah, Strauss was made of paper mache, dude. I never, I mean, <laughs> dude, I never, I, I'm like, you can't go today? But what, him and JD Drew, holy cow, those dudes are made of paper mache. Never saw him in the gym, never, you know, worked. I was just like, holy cow, how are y'all still here? Like, how like, how are you still <laughs> in the big leagues? Just pure talent. We were trying to sync up our game, so I so I wasn't live betting against you guys. Oh, yeah. I've, I've, I've already hey, – I already know that one. I, I got Cliff Lee on that one time. He was mad, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Wait, would you pause the TV and then you knew what was happening and rewound it? And we're like, oh. Nah, dude, it was a rerun. Uh, and he had no clue it was a rerun. <laughs> we're in the clubhouse in spring training. He's like, thought it was a live game. And I was like, oh, man. They're, he's like, dude, they're whooping. Their, I'm like, I bet you they come back and win. He's like, oh, I'll bet you. Yeah, because I already knew. Hey, what do you think about Remy Ito? He's a pretty, pretty sexy guy, right? That, that man <laughs> continues to terrorize us. I swear no, 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 no. I'm not talking about uh, he's a pretty sexy guy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Uh. Give, let's give Chuchi a shout-out, man. You know, I almost went to uh, Panama. He holds a big PBR event, professional bull rider event at his, at his place. At his place, yep. Yeah. yeah, man. But, see, I was more interested in the cockfighting. You know, he's got a big cockfighting ring. You know, cockfighting is legal down in Panama. Okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, man. He's got some He's got some badass roosters, bro. Chooch is the man. I saw him last year at the World Series. He's going to be there again this year. Like, it was, it was so good to see him. This is a great guy, man. Yep. Old skid. <laughs> he got like, he's got like some, some pretty high-priced cocks, man. <laughs> I think they no, actually just switched the loss. Not, I, 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 I'm just, it's just funny. It's just funny to hear a grown trouble. man say that repeatedly. I'm just saying, man, like he's got some cocks that are worth like 20 grand. Is that true or are you just playing with this? No, I'm dead serious, man. They, they, he's, oh. got, he's got some Mike Tyson cocks. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even lying, dude. He, Dude, he's got it. Oh my gosh! Does, hey, I just want to know this: Do you think four and a half inches is huge or not? <laughs> you got to give him context. You got to no. give him context. No. You can't give him. You got to give him. Tom Frazier <laughs> told us when the new bases came in that four and a half inches was huge. And I couldn't stop it's a laughing. Big deal. It's a big deal. <laughs> One of our first few shows. He was like, God, oh, four God. and a half inches oh. is huge. Yeah, four and a half inches is huge, guys. <laughs> he just kept saying it. Uh, anyway, oh, six nothing Phillies in the seven. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, no, Kratzy, I'm dead serious, man. He, he oh my gosh. Me. he's got trainers for his cocks. He's got like they he spats his cock. <sighs> like you know, they they spat the ankles. <laughs> 
With razor blades. Uh, hold on, hold on. They spat their knocks with razor blades. Who is this? What? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Uh, okay. He's like, hey, no, Poppy, Poppy, we spot the cock with the razor blade. Don't. Oh uh, my gosh, okay. They said they're going to shut the lights off. <laughs> oh my I'm gosh. I'm serious, man. I'm serious. <laughs> uh, uh, Hoffman's coming in and just showing the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> All right, what was your last year in Boston? Eleven. Well, eleven. Okay, so then eleven. Was Farrell the manager? Oh no, because eleven was the year you guys fucked it up against Baltimore. That's right. That was the year that I gave that it up. That was chicken and Baltimore. beer. That was chicken and beer. That was chicken and beer. Yeah, that was chicken and beer, and I gave it up against them, Robert and Dino, because Carl Crawford. Smoking a cigarette in left field, didn't realize there was a pop up. <laughs> hey, they took they took the Popeyes out because of y'all. Y'all cost Popeyes millions. Yeah, man. And Popeyes, no bullshit, AJ. There was a Popeyes across the street from Fenway at the time. They closed the doors. I know you guys cost Popeyes millions by ch- having did. chicken and beer. I, t- I told the story. Lester and Lackey. See, this is what I do a feet loaf. What the hell is that? Feet low. What the hell is that? You eat that? You yeah, that? man. That's, that's, a big food. that's a feet loaf with onions for the toenails, bro. That yeah, looks like yeah, I, ain't never done I mean, that. I just had meatloaf two nights ago, and oh, man, don't look like, it did not look like that. Hey, dude, the under, under, oh, man, over, under is eight runs right now at minus 170. You know they're scoring more. Shit! See, I told you they're scoring more than eight. I should have got that in right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's only eight. They don't have it yet. Yeah. Okay, so I, but yeah, but I'm gonna pay now minus eight. Now twenty eight. for it now. Ah. You're one second too late. Yep, too late. They're literally a second. Literally. They only have they only have five they only have five more outs to get. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it's only one six minus one sixty. I gotta take that. I gotta take that. I gotta take <laughs> Get up! Boo, 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 boo. Half is just kidding. <laughs> oh, that's your quarterback. That's your quarterback. Hey, cash money. I know all the sleep doctors. Now all the teams have sleep doctors. Oh what? Yeah. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. You retired too soon. A sleep doctor. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the Red Sox had a sleep existed. room. I didn't even know they existed. Holy cow. I thought you just popped Ambien. That, <laughs> well, that does require a prescription, doesn't it? I don't. I've never had from one. From a sleep doctor. Yeah, from a sleep doctor. Man, say, I knew I should have gone to school for that. I could have made a whole lot more money. That's, that's I don't called know. a drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got Bonnie here. She's yelling at everybody. Hi, Bonnie. Tell Bonnie Clark I said hi. Yeah, hi, Bonnie Clark. Hey, Bonnie. Bonnie. Eric Kratz says hi. And Scotty Braun. Hey, 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 tell her Pat And Pap, Pap says, Pap Pap says hi. Pap says hi. Oh. You're live right now. Wait, Bonnie. Bonnie. You're live. Hey, Bonnie. How's- Kratzy, AJ Krasinski, and Scott Brown. You don't know me, but hi. Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie. <laughs> what, what is this? What is this? What is this? I, I don't know what, what this is. This? is but Bonnie she said, you remember that? The hottest PR no, whenever chick whenever our pregame ceremonies weren't going long enough, you look at me like, let's go. Get She was saying. It was to get out of everything. Bonnie, it was to get out of everything. Bonnie, <laughs> what are you watching. doing? You are still looking hot. <laughs> Stop it. Probably should have, I probably should have told, told her that one. So, hey, hey, I got a know. quick question. Can you hear me, Craig? What's up? Kevin. Hey, Chris, he's, it, yeah, what up? Hey, hey, hey. This JT Real Muto kid, right? Yeah. <laughs> he won't Hey, you would, right? 
Oh, come on, Pap. You know for sure. Let's go. I mean, yeah. Dude, like, guy, what a crap. What a crap say. What a crap say. Is he like People's Magazine 100 sexiest men alive? <laughs> Ooh. This Harp still gets all the love over him, though. Yeah, but you Harp know, was in, Harp was in that is that ESPN magazine, so you know that, that that's that's still real. Yeah, but Harper's got the name. Like Real Mika's got the books. <laughs> I had like I think I had twenty eight saves in a row. A blue number twenty nine. They booed me off the field and I grabbed my nuts at the whole stadium. And Joe West kicked me out. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, I had twenty eight. I, in a I row. forgot about that one. Yeah, but do I better, Pat. In a row. Philly's like, do better. Yeah, but I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> was it the bull? It was the bullpen chairs, right? We got in trouble. Oh, yeah. Yes. We stole all the bullpen chairs. <laughs> what oh, a, yeah, next thing you know, they're like, there's chairs. like 10, wasn't there like 10 bullpen chairs in the freaking bottom of the bus? I said, like, Miami, stacked up. <laughs> Miami, Miami had the best bullpen chairs ever. I told the bullpen clubby, I gave him $5,000 to take all the bullpen chairs out and put them underneath the bus. <laughs> he puts them under the bus and fast <laughs> Frank finds out. That son of a bitch. Frank, is he still the goddamn traveling secretary? No, no, he's no, 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 no. Oh, good. No. They got rid of him. He ratted me out, that son of a bitch. See, here's the thing, man. In Mississippi, you can build a whole lot cheaper than you can, like in Florida or Texas. You want look, look, man, look. Oh wow! Oh, right. my my <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, I don't know, man. Oh. Don't know. Uh, Scott doesn't realize that the male and the female plug. He tried to plug two males together and it didn't work. You need the male. Hey, head. that's like me and Rio Muto. My back. <laughs> like, no. you, you, I think you they plugged can't, They can't hear you right now. No, so. I can't hear nothing now, Scott. You done so messed up. So I get to, take over. I'm the only one <laughs> that gets the link. Oh gosh. Disaster zone. Can't take him anywhere. Wait, hold on. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs>